Hello everyone, it's Refresh, and I am here to bring you a battle between two Ixalan sealed decks and the Battle of the Horde challenge deck from Born of the Gods. We're going to be starting with the Harvester on the side of the sealed decks, which lets them draw a card and then discard a card once per turn, as well as the Explorer, which lets them play an additional land on each turn, and finally the Vanquisher, which will give them an additional card at the start and then have a maximum of eight cards per hand. We'll be playing first on normal mode with three turns before the horde attacks and then we'll be playing on difficult mode with two turns before the horde attacks. Let's draw and see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The red seal deck is a Grixis deck and we have four lands and nothing really that can get us started on the first turn. So I think we're going to mulligan this. And because this is a multiplayer game, we'll take a free mulligan. And then we'll draw back up to eight again. We have three lands in two of our colors, but nothing that we can cast off of this. I don't think we want to go to seven, so we'll just keep this and hope to get where we need to get to off the looting from the Harvester. Gruul will draw eight. The green deck is a Gruul deck. We have a whole bunch of mountains and forests, not a whole lot of playables, but we could probably get in there on the second turn. So let's go ahead and keep this. The total lineup of cards is Siren, Storm Tamer, Run Aground, Dragon Skull Summit, Swamp, Mountain, Prosperous Pirates, Stormfleet, Pirate Mancer, Dire Fleet, Interloper, for Grixis we have Mountain, Emperor's Vanguard, Mountain, Mountain, Forest, Blossom Dried Forest, and Cobble Wings for Gruul. We'll go ahead and begin the first turn with a mountain and then the Dragon Skull Summit, which will come in untapped because the Grixis controls a mountain. And then we'll play a mountain and a forest for Gruul. We'll tap both and play the Cobbled Wings. And then we'll end the turn using the Harvester to loot. We will draw a Siren's Ruse for Grixis and a Thrash of Raptors for Gruul. We'll go ahead and discard the run aground because it's not very good against this particular deck and we'll discard a mountain here and then we will untap we'll draw we get an island here and a wild growth walker here Forgot to untap the mountain the forest we'll go ahead and play the island and the swamp here and then grixis will play a dire fleet interloper Letting us explore, revealing the top card. It's a swamp, it'll go into our hand. Gruul will play the forest and the mountain. And then we'll play the Emperor's Vanguard. And then we'll end the second turn with no attacks. We will loot at the end of the turn. Grixis draws a mountain. Gruul draws a Crash the Ramparts. And we'll discard the Crash the Ramparts. On this side, we'll discard the Siren Storm Tamer. And then we will untap for our final turn before the horde will attack. We draw, Grixis draws a lightning strike, Gruul draws a mountain. We'll go ahead and play Gruul's mountain and we will play the swamp and the mountain for Grixis. We will attack with the Emperor's Vanguard as well as the Dire Fleet Interloper for six damage. Let's reveal the six cards that are taken to the graveyard. These six, we lose a Minotaur Younghorn, Touch of the Horn God, Minotaur Younghorn, Minotaur Gorseeker, Minotaur Gorseeker, and Mogus is chosen. They'll all go to the graveyard. As well, for hitting the opponent, the Emperor's Vanguard will explore. We reveal a Colossal Dreadmaw, and we will keep that on top to put a counter on the Emperor's Vanguard. And then Grixis will cast the Prosperous Pirates, getting us two treasures and then we will pass the turn to the Horde. The Horde will play three cards. We'll play an Altar of Mogus, a Phobos Reaver, and a Phobos Reaver. The two Phobos Reavers are two threes and they will both be attacking because they are hasted. The Prosperous Pirates will block one and kill it. We will take two damage from the remaining Phobos Reaver and go down to 18. We will loot at the end of the Horde's turn Grixis will draw a Vanquish the Weak. Gruul will draw its Colossal Dreadmaw. And we will discard the Blossom Dryad here. And we'll discard the Siren's Ruse here. And then we'll untap. And then we will draw. Grixis draws a Unfriendly Fire. 
He will draw us a Deep Fruit Warrior. Nope, oh, forgot to draw. Untap the Dire Fleet Interloper. We will play the Wild Growth Walker here, as well as the Deep Fruit Warrior. And then we'll attack with the Emperor's Vanguard, as well as the Dire Fleet Interloper, dealing 7 damage, milling 7 cards. We lost an Intervention of Kronos. Mogus has chosen a Minotaur Gore Seeker, a Minotaur Younghorn, a Touch the Horn God, a Minotaur Younghorn, and a Minotaur Gore Seeker. Emperor's Vanguard will explore. We'll reveal the top card. It is a Charging Monstrosaur. We will keep that right where it is and gain another counter on Emperor's Vanguard. Because we explored Wild Growth Walker, we'll gain a counter and we will gain 3 life to go up to 21. And then we will pass the turn to, to the Horde. The Horde will untap. The Horde will play 4 cards now. The first being a Plundered Statue. The second being a Minotaur Younghorn. The third being a Intervention of Karanos. And the fourth being a Minotaur Gore Seeker. The Intervention of Kronos will deal 3 damage to each creature before combat. And so that will destroy the Furbo Retriever, the Minotaur Younghorn, the Minotaur Gore Seeker, as well as the Dire Fleet Interloper and the Deep Root Warrior. And there's no more attacks from the Horde, so we will loot. Grixis will draw a Pirate's Cutlass. Gruul will draw its Charging Monstrosaur. We will discard the Thrash of Raptors on this side, and we will discard a Unfriendly Fire on this side. Then we will untap. We'll draw. Grixis draws a Burning Sun's Avatar. Gruul draws a Forest. Grixis will play the Pirate's Cutlass, which will automatically equip to the Prosperous Pirates, making it a 5-5. Gruul will play a Forest, and we will attack with the Emperor's Vanguard, as well as the Prosperous Pirates, for 5 plus 6 is 11. We'll do 11 damage, and reveal 11 cards. Vitality Salve. Each player returns a creature from his or her graveyard to the battlefield, so we will return the Dire Fleet Interloper to the battlefield, and we will return the Thrash of Raptors to the battlefield. When Dire Fleet Interloper enters the battlefield, we'll explore. We'll, we have a Vanquish the Weak, which we will throw away to get a counter on the Dire Fleet Interloper. We have 10 more cards to mill. A Minotaur Younghorn, Minotaur Younghorn, Minotaur Younghorn, Phobos Reaver, Minotaur Younghorn, Minotaur Gore Seeker, Refreshing Elixir will gain 5 life each to go to 31. Mogus is chosen. Descend Upon the Prey, and Minotaur Younghorn. That is everything from here. And then, Gruul will play the Colossal Dreadmaw, and Grixis will hold steady. We will pass the turn to the Horde, which will play the top five cards now. We have a Phobaros Reaver, a Minotaur Core Seeker, or Phobaros Reaver, a Minotaur Younghorn, and a Phobos Reaver. Three Phobos Reavers, a Minotaur Gore Seeker, and a Minotaur Younghorn are all attacking. The Dire Fleet Interloper will block one of the Phobos Reavers. The Colossal Dreadmaw will block the Minotaur Gore Seeker. Thrasher Raptors will block a Phobos Reaver. Wild Growth Walker will block. Oh, this should have explored on its hit, so we'll explore again. We'll Ditch the Frenzied Raptor and make this stronger, which makes this stronger, which gets us three more life, which takes us to 34. And then the Fo last Phobos Reaver will get struck by lightning. And that will kill the Phobos Reaver. The everything will die for Team Horde, where everything will live for Team Ixalan. We will untap. Draw, Grixis gets a Drowned Catacomb, and Gruul gets a Spiked Tailed Ceratops. We will play the Drowned Catacomb, and then we will attack with everybody, I believe. Yep, everybody will go on the attack. We'll attack with everybody. For 3 plus 5 
is 8, plus 7 is 15, plus 3 is 18, plus 5 is 23, plus 6 is 29 damage, as well as a charging monster sword for 34 damage. So let's see how well the horde holds up. 2, 3, 4, 5, that's Minotaur Young Horn, Unquenchable Fury, Minotaur Young Horn, Phobos Reaver, and Refreshing Elixir, getting us another 10 life to take us to 44. We lose a Plundered Statue, we draw a card each, we get a Stormfleet Aerialist in a Mountain here, a Reckless Minotaur, a Consuming Rage, a Reckless Minotaur, and a Minotaur Gore Seeker, that's 10. A Unquenchable Fury, Minotaur Younghorn, Descend Upon the Prey, Massacre Totem, we'll mill seven more cards after this. A Phobos Reaver, a Minotaur Gore Seeker, Consuming Rage, Phobos Reaver, and Minotaur Gore Seeker. We'll get rid of four more cards. The Min Phobos Reaver, the Reckless Minotaur, the Minotaur Younghorn, a Min Reckless Minotaur, and finally, off the seven, we'll middle the Mogus Chosen. Everything goes to the graveyard. There are no cards left in the deck, and there are no Minotaurs left on the battlefield, and so Team Ixalan will defeat the Horde for this game, and we will go to the difficult mode, game two next. Game two, Ixalan versus Battle of the Horde on difficult mode. Now there's only gonna be two turns before the Horde attacks. We'll go ahead and draw our eight. Grix has the Siren Lookout, Burning Suns, Avatar, Stormfleet Aerialist, Mountain, Lightning Strike, Mountain, Island, and Dragon's Call Summit. That's land and playables. We'll go ahead and keep it. Rule draws eight. We have Forest, Mountain, Blossom Dry, Charging Monster Stars, Brazen Buccaneers, Brazen Buccaneers, Bogbreath Walker, and Forest. That's enough to get started. Let's go ahead and play this. All right, turn one, we will play a Mountain and an Island and a Forest and a mountain, and then we'll play the Wild Growth Walker. And then we'll end the turn, we will loot once. We will draw, Grixis draws a Fathom Fleet Firebrand, Gruul draws a Thrash of Raptors. We will discard a Thrash of Raptors here, and we will discard the Lightning Strike here. We'll untap, we'll draw, Grixis draws an Island, Gruul draws a Cobbled Wings. We will go ahead and play a forest here, and a dragon skull summit, and a island here. We'll tap these and play the siren lookout, which will explore. We reveal the top card, it's an island, it goes into our hand. On this side, we will attack with the wild growth walker for one, getting us a phobos reaver, and then we will play a blossom dryad, and then we'll pass the turn to the Horde. The Horde will play the top three cards, the first being a Minotaur Younghorn, the second being a Minotaur Younghorn, and the third being a Minotaur Younghorn will be attacked by three Minotaur Younghorns. We will take all six damage and go to 14. At the end of the turn, we'll loot. Grixis draws an Unfinny Fire. Gruul draws a Mountain. We'll discard the Cobbled Wings and we'll discard the Unfriendly Fire. We'll untap. We'll draw. Grixis gets a Mountain. Gruul gets a mountain, we'll play both of the mountains on this side, and then we will play an island and a mountain on this side, and then we'll play the Brazen Buccaneers, which come in hasted, we'll explore. We have a spiked sail tailed ceratops, which we will leave right there, putting a counter on the hasted Brazen Buccaneers, and we'll also put a counter on the Wild Growth Walker, which will get us three life to go up to 17. We will attack with the Blossom Dryad and the Siren Lookout for three damage. One, two, three. The Refreshing Elixir gives us five life apiece for 10 life to take us to 27. On the second main, Grixis will tap out and play the Burning Sun's Avatar, directing three damage to a Minotaur Younghorn and three damage to the player, which will make them lose three more cards, two, two Phobos Reavers, and a Vitality Salve. When the Vitality Salve is put into a graveyard, each player returns a creature from his or her graveyard to the battlefield. So let's see if there are any creatures to return. Nothing here. And a Thrash of Raptors will join the battlefield here. And then we have nothing else we can play, so we will pass the turn 
to the Horde, the Horde will untap, the Horde will play three cards. We will have a Minotaur Younghorn, a Minotaur Gore Seeker, and a Phoboros Reaver. The Younghorns will attack, the Gore Seeker will attack, and the Phoboros Reaver will attack. The Gore Seeker is going to slam into the Burning Sun's Avatar. The Phoboros Reaver will slam into the Thrash of Raptors. A young horn will be eaten by the Wild Growth Walker, one by the Brazen Buccaneers, and we will take two from the remaining young horn to go down to 25. All the hordes inner tars die. We will end the turn and then go back to Ixalan Seal Decks. They will untap, draw. Grixis gets the Brazen Buccaneers. Girl gets the Spike Tailed Ceratops. We will play Brazen Buccaneers here. They will explore, revealing Vanquish the Weak. We will get rid of the Increase of the Weak, getting ourselves a counter on the Brazen Buccaneers. On this side, we will play another Brazen Buccaneers. They are hasty. We'll explore. Exploring causes a Wild Growth Walker to gain a counter, and we will gain three more life to go up to 28. No, we'll leave the Drover right where it is. And then we'll go on the attack. The Burning Sun's Avatar, the Brazen Buccaneers, the Siren's Lookout, the Thrasher Raptors, Brazen Buccaneers, Brazen Buccaneers, uh, not the Thrasher Raptors. The Blossom Dryad will all go on the attack. We will be hitting for 2 plus 6 is 8, 9, 15, 18 damage. So that will kill a Phobos Reaver, a Minotaur Gore Seeker, a Minotaur Gore Seeker, a Minotaur Younghorn, a Refreshing Elixir getting us 10 life to go up to 38. It will also kill a Phobos Reaver, a Plundered Statue getting us each a card a Minotaur Younghorn, and a Reckless Minotaur, and a Minotaur Gore Seeker, that's 10. A Minotaur Younghorn, Minotaur Gore Seeker, a Minotaur Younghorn, a Minotaur Reckless Minotaur, and a Minotaur Younghorn again. And finally, a Minotaur Phobos Reaver, a Minotaur Younghorn, and a Consumer Rage. That all goes into the graveyard. Play a Mountain here. We'll play a Storm Fleet Aerialist, when it enters the battlefield, we'll gain a counter because we attack this turn, and then we will pass the turn to the Horde. The Horde will untap, and they will play three cards. We have a Minotaur Younghorn, a Intervention of Koranos, and a Consuming Rage. Whenever a Minotaur attacks this turn, it gets plus two plus O at until end of turn, destroy the creature at end of combat. At the beginning of combat this turn, Intervention of Karanos deals three damage to each creature. So we're dealing three damage to both of the Minotaur Young Horns. As such, Consuming Rage doesn't matter. It'll also kill the Stormfleet Aerialist, the Brazen Buccaneer, the Siren Lookout, the Thrasher Raptors, the Brazen Buccaneer, the other two Brazen Buccaneers and the Blossom Dryad, the Wild Growth Walker, will remain. And then at the end of the turn, we will loot. Grixis will draw a Prosperous Pirate's Gruul will draw a Colossal Dreadmaw. We will discard the Drover of the Mighty, and we will discard the Unfriendly Fire. We'll untap. We'll draw. We get a Dead Eye Tormentor here, and a Forest here. We'll play the Forest. Let's go ahead and attack with the Burning Sun's Avatar for six. Oh heck, we'll attack the Wild Growth Walker as well for another three for nine. We have a Mogus is Chosen, a Phobos Reaver, a Phobos Reaver, a Descend Upon the Prey, and a Minotaur Gore Seeker, as well as a Planet Statue, which will draw a card, a Touch of the Horn God, a Unquenchable Fury, and a Mogus is Chosen. We'll play the Swamp. Play the Colossal Dreadmaw, and on this side we'll go ahead and play the Prosperous Pirates and the Fathom Fleet Firebrand. Prosperous Pirates will create two treasures, we'll go ahead and sack those treasures right away for black mana to also play the Dead Eye Tormentor. And then we will pass the turn back to the Horde, the Horde will play the top three cards. We have a Phoboros Reaver, a Minotaur Gore Seeker and a Intervention of Koranos. Intervention of Koranos will go off again, killing everything that has three or less health, which means those two will die, as well as these two. There is no, There are no attacks being made, since we have no cards here. There's no point in milling ourselves, we'll just go straight to untap. Then we'll draw. Grixis draws a mountain, 
Gruul draws a forest. We'll go ahead and play the mountain and the forest. We will attack with everything. We'll even attack with a charging monster sword as well. For 11 plus 3 is 14, plus 9 is 23, and I think that's everything. 1, 2, Descend Upon the Prey, Minotaur Gore Seeker, Minotaur Younghorn, Massacre Totem, which will put the next 7 into the graveyard, so that will be 30. Minotaur Gore Seeker, Altar or Mogus, which causes the Horde to sacrifice 2 Minotaurs, Minotaur Gore Seeker, Min Reckless Minotaur, Unquenchable Fury, and Minotaur Younghorn. Reckless Minotaur, Minotaur Younghorn, Mogus is chosen, and Mogus is chosen. That takes all of the Horde's cards and puts them in the graveyard, causing the Ixalan sealed decks to win the day. Let me know what you thought about these games in the comments. If you like this video, hit like. If you'd like to see more such videos, hit subscribe. Next, we are going to be trying to defeat a god with these Ixalan decks. Keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. This was Refresh, and I will see you next time.